I'm doing a lot of these Mac series videos. This is one of many, so be looking for an MSF collection, eyeshadow collection, but today I'm doing my top five summer blushes from Mac. I tried to include only one limited edition. Um, these colors are colors that I gravitate towards and they are in the permanent collection except for one was limited edition. And they're just colors that I wear in the summer, bright pops of colors. I obviously have blushes that I do wear in the summer that are bright and colorful, but sometimes I feel bad making those, making these videos where I show some of the limited edition stuff that y'all may not get anymore. So I tried to pull some of the similar colors to my favorite limited edition ones that are in the permanent line that I do wear and I love and you can get the same look. I'm going to be doing this video with Missy Boo here on YouTube and y'all may be subscribed to her channel. If not, I will leave her channel and her video down below. She's also going to be doing her top five matte blushes for the summer. So go ahead and check out her video if you'd like some more suggestions. So I'm just going to go kind of get into it, but you will do have a lot of pink blushes. I cannot help myself. I don't know what it is. I just gravitate towards them. But one that is my absolute favorite that when someone asks me, what blush do you recommend from MAC? I always say this one. And everyone that I have recommended to recommended it to seems to love it. That as well. color is Pinch O Peach. Now Pinch O Peach I think is it is a sheer tone blush, so it's buildable. Um, it is just a really beautiful peachy but pink color. So it, it is pink, but when you're comparing it to um, a more pink blush like Max Swoon, it leans a little bit more peachy. Now I'm just going to swatch Swoon for you next to it so that you can see the difference in the colors. And when I say that, I can show you that Pincho Peach is like the perfect peachy pink. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it just gives a great color to the face. So I am wearing Pincho Peach today, but this is Pincho Peach and that is Max Swoon. Do you see the difference of how Swoon is like a, a baby doll bright pink? Um, I really like Pincho Peach and I would recommend it to anyone, like I said, because of the fact that it's pinky and peachy and I feel like that lends itself to be very wearable, plus it's a sheer tone blush. So that means it's a buildable color. It's not going to go on completely like super pigmented. You're going to be able to kind of work it in and blend it. It's one of my favorite finishes from MAC Blushes. So I really like this color and definitely one of my top five of all time blushes and for the summer. Okay, so one of my favorite bright blushes is Dolly Mix. This is just like the quintessential um, blush that you should own from it MAC. It is such a punchy color. It's a sheer tone shimmer. So this does have a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, and you will be able to see that, the sheen from it. So really, really pretty, especially in the summertime when you have that glow to your face, just a little, it's a brighter, more deeper pink. Now, Pinch of Peach is matte, more of a matte, like a more matte satin finish with the sheer tone blush, but since this has shimmer in it, 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 um, is buildable as well, but it has like that sheen to it. So I really, really like that. The sheen is almost like a goldish sheen, but like a goldish pink sheen. I really like how this applies. I suggest using like, using a brush that has like a dual fiber brush because that will give a light application. Make it easier to build upon. Build up the color and then it just adds that brightness to your face, especially for the summer. This summer, I love to use cream blushes. One of my favorites from MAC is So Sweet So Easy. This is a really pretty pink color. I like the MAC blushes because, the cream blushes because they're not too like wet, they almost, they dry to like a powder finish. They're a little bit tacky when you first apply it, but it dries to a really nice powder finish and it blends really easily. They're perfect for wearing on their own, but what they're really great at is putting that base down of color and then topping it with a powder blush if you like. This So Sweet So Easy is pigmented enough to add color to the cheeks on its own. You wouldn't need to top this one with a powder, but if you'd like to, um, Pincho Peach goes great over it, or Pink Swoon goes great over it, or any blush you have in your collection um, goes really nicely over this. So really like it, and like I said, it dries more to a powder finish. Some of the NYX cream blushes that I own are like sticky and goop, 
kind of like not goopy but they have sort of that wet feeling constantly but I, I like this because it doesn't have that wet feeling it's just the perfect base cream product so so sweet so easy is definitely a must-have from Mac for the summer and also um, it's a perfect one for to have for as a in cream blush because I feel like it would pair well with other blush the one limited edition one I have and it's more of a coral color this is fleet fast and I got this in the MAC Hey Sailor collection. Um, one that is very similar in the permanent collection to this blush is um, Floor Power. So if you have Floor Power, I think it's that coralish pink just like this. Um, I really like to wear coral colored blushes in the summer because I feel like they bring warmth to the face. Um, and it's it's really not when you have a tan it's nice to have that warmth in your in your face instead of sometimes when you're using more cooler toned stuff it can look more apparent but when you're using a more warm toned blush it, it looks a little bit more natural so if you're going for a little bit more natural of a look try a warmer toned blush. Now this is Fleet Fast, but like I said, if you're looking for a similar coral color, this is a satin finish. So if you're looking for a similar try floor palette, that is in Max Permanent Collection. Okay, the last blush that I have, but I also have an honorable mention because you guys know me, I cannot narrow myself down to five. I had to do an honorable mention. Um, but this last one before the honorable mention, this is Spring Sheen. And this has been compared to Max Orgasm. Um, it's just a really nice peachy color with a really pretty gold sheen in it, as you can see right there. Um, let's swatch that over here. This is so beautiful in the summertime. Oh, I just absolutely love it. It's such a pretty color, such a pretty color. You don't even need to use a highlight when you're using Spring Sheen. Um, it is similar to Orgasm. I would say this is actually a smoother consistency than Orgasm, so I really, really love this, and I like the sheen actually better on this one. It's a little bit less, it's a little bit more of a coral than um, Orgasm leans a little bit more has a little bit more pink in it. So, but they are very similar. So I really love Spring Sheen. And the last one that is an honorable mention is Sun Basque. I just had to mention it. Sun Basque is a really beautiful bronze color. It has a sheen to it. As you can see, it's just a really pretty bronze color. This would be gorgeous on um, a little bit darker skin tones, even lighter, but it's a little bit more of an orange bronze right there. Um, I absolutely love this one, and I just had to mention it is part of Max Permanent Collection, so this is Sun Basque, and it just brings like a really nice glow to your face when you're bronzed and tanning, and it's just perfect to add that to. It's almost like if you were going to be using a bronzer for a blush is the look that Sun Basque gives. So if you don't have sun basque or you don't want to invest in it then go ahead and just use your bronzer but i love this one so if you are looking for more of a bronzy tone blush for the summer then this is a great so here are the swatches up close this is fleet fast pincho peach swoon but that was just to show you in comparison dolly mix so sweet so easy this is spring sheen and that one is my honorable mention sun basque sun basque spring sheen is a little bit more peachy with the gold sun basque is a little bit more with the orangey bronze tones. All right, so that is it for my top five with my honorable mention six. And I know you guys will forgive me. No, I love Mac and it's hard for me to narrow things down. I did my best. I tried to give a variety and also show you guys some of the things in Mac's permanent collection because I know a lot of times they're permanent collection kind of gets overlooked because they do release a lot of they do release a lot of limited edition collections. So they do have great blushes and a great color selection in their permanent line. So I just wanted to feature some of those so that you guys knew that you don't always have to get the limited edition things. A lot of times they will have a similar color already in their permanent line. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Be looking for some more MAC related videos. Check out Missy Boo's video if you are interested in seeing more blush selections from MAC for the summer. I know she's a MAC lover like I am. That's why we decided to get together and just do this video as a collab video so to give you guys a whole bunch of options. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing this look it is going to be in a tutorial coming soon also with a foundation review so um, just be on the lookout for that I will see you all in my next video Mwah.